We are still very bullish on the equities market uh, for the second half because we think that growth is solid, inflation is under control in most nations, and interest rates we believe are going to just trade within the range. So um, overall a very comfortable environment for equities. We like the regions which uh, can deliver strong growth. So that includes uh, a number of emerging markets, including Asia, uh, China obviously is part of that, and uh, Latin America and Eastern Europe. We think that Russia is quite cheap at the moment because of the political uncertainties. So uh, that could be uh, one of the interesting regions uh, to watch in the second half. Major risks would include uh, a possibility of the US Federal Reserve raising rates again or the Chinese central bank raising rates more than what the market currently expects or we could have oil prices rising to $80 and beyond again. So that would be some of the risk factors which you should watch. And the last one uh, which I forgot to mention is the 10-year bond rate in the US. We have to watch that. If that were to exceed 6%, six percent, then uh, one has to be more careful on equities. Not yet. We think that the first equity market to benefit from that are the Chinese shares listed on the Hong Kong exchange because they are cheaper than the A-share equivalent in China. So that would be the first one to benefit. Global equities, maybe next year. As far as our global equities uh, market uh, weightings are concerned, we're still overweight in emerging markets, so, um, a so Asia, Latin America, Eastern Europe. We also like uh, the Western European markets as well, relative to, let's say, the US or the UK or Japan. Those last three we remain underweight in, because we think that the growth there is not as powerful as in the, um, the regions which we like. <laughs>